with YouTube, one of the best parts about it is that with the, the con of more of an amateur production style from majority of people who use YouTube, you also get that authenticity that you perceive that you know of the person that you're watching, for a lot of people anyway. I mean, the bigger you get, for some people, the less authentic they get, but you, it feels like you're talking to a person that, like, if you met before, if you had a conversation with them, unlike uh, like on TV, for example, you feel like you're actually meeting a person. And since Butch Hartman comes from that outside world and he's coming into YouTube, which is a different environment than TV, it's kind of like just like Cartoon, if Cartoon Network did a YouTube channel like Butch Hartman, it, it just feels like another faceless corporation, except this time we do have a face. It's just that it's in the same vein as Cartoon Network's Twitter, for example. The the only company I can kind of bet get behind in doing this, even though their main network is really cringy on Twitter, is Nick Animation. Yeah, I like Because I like at least the, the animation department, they give us some insight into their shows. Not all of their hosts are great, but whenever they do the podcast, when they give us behind the scenes, when they give us their shorts, and I love how many shorts they have been uploading recently, they know what people want to see. Yes, they absolutely they provide interesting content and on Twitter, on all their social media, actually add something interesting to it, not create like stupid memes to stay relevant or uh, just say, remember this? This was cool, wasn't it? Like, they actually give me a reason to come back to both their YouTube channel and the pages because it's entertaining to read because I don't feel like I'm wasting my time looking at this. Do you wish your family had more time together? Let's face it, with all the activities that we and our kids are involved with in these days, it's getting harder and harder to get everyone to spend quality time together. And if you are fortunate enough to get everyone on the same couch, finding something to watch as a family without having to hide everyone's eyes from certain subjects can be even more difficult, right? No. Well, Hollywood industry veteran Butch Hartman has a solution for you. It's called Oasis Entertainment, a 24-7 streaming entertainment platform with a mission to reconnect families and bring them back together. This vision was carefully created with your family in mind. We'll have something for everyone. Sitcoms, drama series, animation, home and garden shows, <laughs> reality shows, fitness, feature films, documentaries. Um, isn't, isn't that a little much for like a family network? Do you really <laughs> need to have garden shows as one of your main, main aspects on a Kickstarter page? <laughs> I just want to know what kind of reality shows Butch Hartman has in mind. <laughs> Could you imagine a Bunsen is Beast reality show? Just a beat by beat recreation? I I can't. <laughs> I know you just said that like a few seconds ago. It, I, my brain just automatically <laughs> shoved that out. I don't even know what you said. I can't even recollect it. I don't even mm. want to process that. Mm. I can't. <laughs> Plus a user upload feature that will allow you to upload your own family-friendly videos. Now, who gets to determine if it's family-friendly? Family-friendly is relative. Like, I grew up on watching wrestling, but there are some families that think that's too violent, so... Some families still believe that hell is a swear. So, like, this is very hard to determine. <laughs> would, you, would you consider, like, changing one letter in Butch's name a swear and... Like, if, if you're just mentioning something related to that, would that already be censored? Not even just that. Or like, where, where do you draw the line? Butch is a, 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 I guess you would call it a label? Butch is a label for a certain group of people. Now, I'm, I'm a family-friendly channel, so I can't... Google's your best friend. Butch Hartman has been working in the entertainment industry for 32 years! The last 20 were spent at Nickelodeon, where he created some of the most memorable animated shows of all time, The Fairly Odd Parents and Danny Phantom, as well as other hits like Tough Puppy and most recently, Bunsen is a Beast. He's animated, illustrated, produced, written, directed, and executive produced numerous projects over the years, and after recently leaving Nickelodeon, he's nowhere near ready to stop doing what he loves entertaining families. Now I find it funny that he put the Fairly Odd Parents and Danny Phantom first yes. <laughs> because <laughs> and not only that but together. I was just about to say that. Together. And then it's yeah. like eh, eh, another hits like mm. Stuff Puppy. But but most recently <laughs> Bunsen is a beast. So you know I'm still yes. here. You know I'm still doing things. And you 
you gotta also admire that he loves entertaining families, but no one else. <laughs> if you're not part of a family, if you don't, if you don't get married, I don't care about watch you. this cause. <laughs> <laughs> you could carry the wine on a wagon, man. Hey, how old are you? You're 18? not allowed here. <laughs> Well, you better get married, Jay, Jay, you, I don't care about entertaining you. You have to understand, OXS Entertainment wants to become your choice for family-focused programming. We know it's not an easy task, that's why we're asking you to help us get there. Our goal is to raise $250,000 for our first phase of startup costs. These include developing a streaming video platform, hiring creative staff and producers to create original content, and to acquire a complete project that fit our family-focused entertainment model. Now is your chance to be part of something special. We've created tiers of rewards that we think you're going to love, so please support us financially and share this campaign with everyone you know. Now I could do that, I could share this with everyone I know, but even if I were to pledge this, if I were to be interested in knowing about this and wanting to support Butch Hartman, that doesn't necessarily mean that like my personal friends and family and uh, like so even some people who have grown up with Butch Hartman would, would want to support this, because most subscribers to his YouTube channel are casual viewers that only w uh, watch his videos whenever he does like drawing stuff or reminding people of their childhood and everything. I'm not too certain if they'd be interested in supporting something like this even if Butch is standing behind this because some networks even he has created and some entertainment platforms have just failed miserably and this just teaser and everything would not convince me as a casual viewer who does not know that much about the entertainment industry to pledge for this, especially considering all the pledge rewards he has. <laughs> um, I'm just like, most people who'd support that are casual viewers that want to see more entertainment by Butch. And even then, I don't think there'll be enough for $20,000-$15,000. At least that's what it says for me. It might be even more uh, to be gathered. So... I, I'm thinking that some of these arguments he has, while they are well written, seem a bit too corporate for people that would actually want to support them, uh, support him to be convinced to be on board with this. But that's just the thing. This is two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for the first phase of the startup cost. Just the first phase. He's asking for a large amount of money just for the first phase. And look. Look, I'm not one to criticize him for something like this because it probably does cost so much just to start it up. But as an investor, it makes sense to look at someone's past history. And he has tried to start up stuff before. He's tried to basically be on his own feet and be self-sufficient before. And I don't remember any of these attempts working, besides his YouTube channel, which technically is, if, if you want me to be completely honest, it's kind of built off of his four shows, in a way. If it's not four shows, it's the, it's the trending thing of the week. Like, I don't think we're ever going to see Butch Hartman uh, do a topic that doesn't revolve around either the, his four shows, particularly his first two, or the trending stuff. Which is completely fine to do. I'm never, I'm never gonna tell someone how to make their money as long as they abide by the terms of service. But it does feel like he may be he, unless there's other people like backing him, and he did not advertise that or disclose this information within any part of this Kickstarter. I don't know if he himself has all of the experience and knowledge to essentially run this. Like, I don't even, uh, just reading over this, uh, it's a network. Is it gonna be mobile first? Is it gonna be an app like the new network? Because that's the other network you did. And it's actually funny because looking at this, looking at the pledge for this, on his pledge $50 or more, that he says that you can get a character from the new network. So is he running two networks? I don't get that. Now, and I also wanted to say this, the last project to tell me what I'm thinking 
was my uh, supposedly new favorite show. So basically, you're telling me that you want me, you, I don't even get a choice in it. You want me to be your choice, okay? Or my choice for family-focused programming. I, I, don't get a, I don't get a say in it. <laughs> it has to be Alexis. Yeah, and a choice in having this is another aspect because as we, uh, he's, he claims that there will be a user upload feature, which that is kind of cool. You know, there isn't really a hybrid between having uh, like paid content or actually content people come for and still having a user upload feature. Sure, we have YouTube Red, but uh, who really uses that? <laughs> um, and if that works, uh, more power to him. But I don't see it working at all, for a multitude of reasons. First of which is that he claims this to be a family-friendly site, and that multiple people will actually look over every single video to ensure it stays family-friendly, which is wrong mm -hmm. on even more levels. <laughs> One of which being that you're basically restricting to audi your audience and the users on your platform that you want to expand by having videos like these in a way that doesn't allow them to express themselves in way uh, in ways that don't cater to the audience he wants to attract which means he essentially restricts himself uh, himself to just having families on the site which would not support this Kickstarter. I doubt that too many families would actually actively go on this platform and play, pledge for something like this if they were to not already have like shows on Amazon Prime and stuff. They don't usually care about having stuff like this because you all already have all of this at your fingertips. And yes, that's a really good point. You mentioned two good points in there. And I'm going to mention the first one. It's going to seem super mean, but look, someone has to be honest here. Look, am I backing a project in which user content will be uploaded and essentially, and look, I got to rip the bandit off. User made content can be amateur for a lot of people. And the thing is, when I pay for cable, when I pay for Netflix, I'm not paying for Johnny Nobody and his family to upload their version of The Walking Dead. I'm paying for professionals and pro gear to actually make this stuff. If I wanted amateur stuff, wouldn't I go to the free YouTube? Wouldn't I go to any other place that hosts videos for free? Look, I'm sorry. I, I know some people can make great stuff, but user content for a lot of people is very amateurish. They don't have the experience. They don't have the gear, and in many cases, they kind of create what they personally want to see, and they don't have that eye for demographics and what other people want to see. We do already have YouTube Kids. We do already have Amazon Prime, and if you want to create a hybrid, a hybrid in that sense, you shouldn't restrict your viewers. You shouldn't say right off the bat that there will be some limitations to what you can upload and what you can't upload, because while there are restrictions on YouTube too, you can't upload like explicit content to the site and all of this is very understandable but they, yeah, they don't yeah, terms open of service. Up youtube with you can uh, youtube is you without some limitations on the site you too so this is not their tagline and if you're creating a kickstarter to promote everything great about your site and why why everyone in the world should pledge to it you shouldn't open it with it being family-friendly content and a site for everyone, if not any everyone can upload. And if you're actually a family wanting to pay for this service, then why you, would you be interested in some selected people uploading family-friendly content to the site if there is already yeah. so much supposed stuff to uh, enjoy on it? Are you expecting users to essentially create free content for you? Yeah, I'm paying for a network where other people who probably also pay for a network are also making the stuff that's on the network. Like, and you also hit another nail on the head. But hold on, let me get to that second point I mentioned earlier. When we talk about streaming services, we already have so many that Oaxis, 
I'm sorry, you're like the last horse in the race right now. Why would I, why would I want to pay a certain amount of money per month for for that? And I understand you're niching down for families, but there are still a large percentages of families in which the parents don't understand the internet that well. And I feel like that's what Butch Hartman is going for, the people who don't understand that possibly Netflix and Hulu and YouTube have parental controls, or that, you know, you can, you, there's obvious stuff you can do to kind of circumvent the, I guess, PG-13 teen sort of content. However, like, there's so much out there, and I feel like Oax Entertainment, it, it's not going to have any market share, because there's so much already out there, and again, like I said, a lot of parents just don't understand. To them, and this is just a general assumption, it kind of looks like Oaxis is essentially just like Nickelodeon or something. And consumer trust is a big thing. It's really hard to get someone to buy this new thing, which is why, and, and computers is a great example of that. Everyone is either on a Mac or a Windows with a very with a small percent on Linux and all of the other operating systems out there because they know it works. And to a parent, they know that Nickelodeon works, they know that Cartoon Network works, they know that Disney works, and maybe some more hip parents know that Netflix and Hulu work. So why would they dig down deeper to this new network, Oaxis Entertainment? I get it, it's run by Butch Hartman, but he only created what? Four shows out of the hundreds, possibly thousands of cartoons that have already aired on television? It, he doesn't have, I'm sorry, he doesn't have the credentials. And if he were to like create something different from these networks to be unique and uh, have the main go-to family-friendly platform on the internet, he should strive for something that is actually memorable and not have his Kickstarter look like the most corporate thing in the world when he claims to be uh, I know the, you haven't watched all of the YouTube video, but he says that this is going to be something that one person is standing behind, that they know what they are supporting, that they are like, that they know that Butch is standing behind this. But you don't get that from the aesthetic he is going for with this network at all. The, the logo isn't memorable, the name isn't memorable, it doesn't scream family friendly at all. And I know that other networks have that too, like Amazon is essentially the most corporate streaming service out there and still most like family friendly content is watched there, I'm assuming, uh, aside from Netflix. But I just don't see too many, fa like you mentioned, not that many families will want to switch over from one streaming service to the other, especially when even when it's pledged, it'll be such a small thing, such a like niche network, even in the beginning. And when it picks up Steam, will just be overshadowed by the other streaming services, like just like it happened with Vidme and all these YouTube clones being overshadowed by YouTube itself. I'm not trying to sound discouraging to him. No, 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 of course not. Of course we'd want no. something like this to work well. In an ideal situation, a lot of a lot of other cartoon creators like uh, Craig McCracken and Alex Hirsch and other people who also want to become cartoonists, maybe they could come on this network. And maybe this network would be sort of a closer connection to being able to put stuff out on a large scale but also have the creative freedom the way that possibly Nickelodeon, possibly Cartoon Network, or possibly Disney isn't. Of course, that's the ideal situation. The only issue is I don't have that much trust for Butch Hartman at this level. If he were more transparent with where he is and where he wants to go, because from what I read from this, and this is a great example, we didn't actually read this paragraph yet, risks and challenges. This is like the vaguest thing I've ever read in my life. Our single biggest challenge will be increasing the numbers of subscribers over the next few months and years. But we know that our backers are as loyal and equally dedicated to this cause as we are. We don't fear the unknown aspect of the future. We're encouraged by the success that lies oh, ahead. That, don't, don't get discouraged. The problem I have with that is that there's so many more challenges when it comes to running a network than numbers. What about infrastructure? 
when I stream something off of your platform, will it run through at the quality that I want? That's one. You can think of so many for a network. Servers, people standing behind this, backers, where it will be hosted. Um, uh, will there be traffic, like, um, as with other gaming servers that when multiple people are on it will have a uh, bad connection? Will families be able to enjoy it at any time? How do uh, family, like, restrictions, will there be any age restriction to the thing? He doesn't include any information as to what it will be actually looking like, aside from the logo. Yes. And for me, interface is a very strong aspect in it, because I, if I don't have fun watching the video with the interface, how the website looks, then I doubt I'd be encouraged to watch more of this content. And just ba based on the actual look, the, the, the actual aesthetic he's going for with this site, like I said, <laughs> It looks more like a business for if business firm, if anything. And that's the thing about Kickstarter, right? Because Kickstarter is for people like you and me to back it. Because obviously, he wants backers through this way so that he doesn't have to rely on investors because investors may push their own agenda. So that's what I think the reason he went after Kickstarter is. And here's another thing, and this is a pretty weak argument, and you can easily debunk this. But if I looked at the way that he ran his YouTube channel, and I look at the way that he wants to run his network, I'm not really interested in a lot of his YouTube videos. Why would I be interested in the creative direction he goes in his network? Now you could, there's, there's obviously a lot of counter arguments to that, I can't, I don't know for sure that he's gonna run it that way, maybe he'll be a little more, he'll, he'll have more variety, maybe he'll have a little bit of more interesting qualities to it, but it's just... Seeing what he did with the End of Fairly Odd Parents uh, season, seeing what he did with Bunsen is a Beast, and seeing how Tough Puppy, it, it had such, it had potential to me, but I feel like execution-wise, it kind of fell flat. And, and just seeing his YouTube channel now, I understand that it has more subs than I do, and I understand that it has a lot more views than I do, but there are just certain variables that lead it that way. I want to see, I just want to see if Butch really wants to bring this off the ground, I think if I'm going to back this project, I want to know exactly what he's planning to do. Because this doesn't this doesn't tell me enough information. How many shows are coming out during the first phase? What, what is the platform for this? Is he going to create his own platform the way that he did with the Noog network, where it's like its own app? Or is it going to be its own website? Like, I don't understand the direction he wants to go with this too much. And I feel like he focused a lot on the family first because he wants mothers and fathers, people who don't understand the internet to donate to him, not you and I, the skeptic. You get me? It, it kind of feels that way. My biggest point to this, and this is what I tell a lot of people who want to start a channel, my biggest question is, what do I get from you that I don't get from someone who also does stuff similar to you? If you can't answer that question, then why do you deserve to grow? Like, what do you offer? And that is the main reason um, his other two shows didn't get as much off the ground as, uh, like, Danny Phantom and the Fairly Odd Parents did. Because in a lot of ways, those shows are very similar to the other two. And there's pretty much no reason to prefer watching those or watching those in the first place over Fairly Odd Parents and Danny Phantom. Because some of it, while there are some new characters and everything, it in very many ways is the same style, the same comedy, a lot of the same characters from uh, the characteristics and everything. I'm not saying they are bad shows, but I'm just saying that there are better Butch Hartman projects, and if he doesn't give us anything new with this, and that we have already seen with his YouTube channel, and uh, many ways he's pretty much delivering with other channels have did uh, like years ago with all these uh, aged up characters and like versus videos and sure he does it in his own style and everything but in a lot of ways most of it doesn't have a whole lot behind it. It, it doesn't entertain me personally and I'm sure it does entertain quite a lot of people because he does get the views on his page and everything. But, he does. But with the views he gets and with the audience he's trying to attract, 
he's not going to attract people that would want to support this network, I don't think. With the views that he does get, he relies a lot on certain tactics. Yes. Now, what's a network that gets a lot of people watching that relies on one specific cartoon? Same one that he left. <laughs> the same one that he left. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure they want to be family friendly. Don't they show sitcoms and animation? Don't they have some sports stuff? Don't they have some feature films? Like, yeah, they don't have home and garden shows, but <laughs> or documentaries. <laughs> that, but that, they also have quite a bit of what <laughs> what you're offering as well. Jay, that might be their downfall. That might be Nickelodeon's downfall in the end. That they don't have garden shows. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, on on their Instagram, they advertise uh, slime ketchup. I feel Ooh. like that's that's a great direction, you know. That's a great product. You know, not like airing more Loud House and, you know, getting your Nickelodeon animation pilots off the ground. No, I want slime ketchup. <laughs> that's that's what I want. That's what the kids want. But, you know, I feel like we're being a little unfair to Butch because guess what? He has rewards for backing him up. So it's not just a network. You can get rewards for pledging to so this wonderful this. gentleman. Gentlemen. Did I say gentlemen? It's just about the... That is the best part about this whole Kickstarter. The pledges. <laughs> All right. Pledge $5 or more. You! Yes. <laughs> it, it's just... Continue. That's it, That's its own sentence right there. <laughs> well, I, I just want to say those are three U's within three words. <laughs> that's a double alliteration right there. Like, it's thank you. You! you! Just in case when you, you read that, you think he's talking to the person behind you. <laughs> Maybe the person, someone else that you talk to. Maybe someone else is on this website. No, you! You are amazing. Thank you so much for supporting the vision. Thank you! Because of your $5 gift, you're going to be put on our email list. Oh my. And receive an exclusive special thank you email. <gasps> I guarantee you. Like, I almost want to pledge $5. And I want someone else to pledge $5. And I want to compare emails. Mm -hmm. There's no way. There's already 75 backers. I'm pretty sure Butch Hartman or whoever's running this is not going to write 75 different emails. It's going to be the same email. You're just going to change the name in it. It's going to be Dear Blink. And then everyone's going to have the exact same thing. So that, is that real? I guess it's exclusive because I guess some people aren't getting it. But look, the word of the day here is disingenuous. Okay? Like, I can't prove that... <laughs> without backing it that it's gonna be special but I feel like it's gonna be cookie cutter now this next pledge is my favorite <laughs> I want to I want to read this one all right go ahead <laughs> for $25 Jay you want to hear what you get for $25 what, what, what would I get a poster do you really want to hear it are you, are you, <laughs> sure, you, are you sure you're ready to hear this for $25 or more, you get an original, exclusive phone wallpaper. Because of your generous donation of $25, you will be added to an exciting and also oh exclusive email list. You will receive an email including not only my top 5 tips for drawing, but also, again, also oh exclusive, an original phone wallpaper drawn by Butch Hartman himself. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> I... Uh, you know how there's sometimes these, like, 79 cents? I'm sure there are, like, one dollar ones already, but on the Play Store and on the App Store too, like any App Store, there are usually these wallpaper apps that you can buy for one dollar that usually just include Google image search first result when you search for this show. That is that, but times 25. This is amazing. So for $25, and <laughs> all it takes is for one person to leak it out, for everyone to be out of luck. Mm -hmm. you, you know, like it's a wall, it's a photo, a digital photo. <sighs> I'm speechless. I, I don't know what to say here. <laughs> $25 for a phone wallpaper. It, it'd be something different. Maybe there's... I, I didn't read all the, like, pledges yet, but if it were to be an original drawing done by himself, it would be a bit strainous on himself, sure. Uh, if it 
was a lower pledge, but like for say a hundred dollars or anything. Oh, and, and I'm looking through these right now. He does that for that. Uh, an original piece by him. That is something I can understand because I'm, I'm supporting it mostly for him and getting something for, from him. That is cool. But there is nothing I'd be less interested in than a drawing by Butch Hartman, which I can easily look up on the web because there are countless drawings on his YouTube channel, which he hosts for free and says that he enjoys the content he does there for free because it's a free website that already has family-friendly content. Why would I not be downloading something from this free website but pledge $25 for what I could easily look up on Google Images or another free website. I can tell you why. <sighs> Just think about it. You're on the ground floor of creating something that will impact culture and bring families back together. You know, I agree. I never saw a think project that fit Come our family-focused entertainment model so well. Just think about it. Thanks for being a part of this. <laughs> Pledge $50 or more. Sketchbook or shout out. Ooh. So all the people who comment on my video, comment on Cosmo's video, whether now or in the future, wanting a shout out, this is your chance. Because <laughs> this is limited. Okay? And it's only $50. Option one. A copy of Butch Hartman's sketchbook number one. Very important he put that. And a plush Noog character from Butch Hartman's Noog Network, which we don't get to hear about anywhere in this Kickstarter. I guess it's irrelevant. Maybe, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe we're not supposed to think about that. Option number two, a social media shout out on not just my Instagram, but also my YouTube channel with over 700,000 subscribers. Again, <laughs> I'm speechless. I, I, the, the, the first option I can get behind, like if, if this were to be a lower tier for $30, I could totally see that happening. But the second one? <laughs> you know what really sucks about the second one? The pledge right after. Oh my god. The pledge, so like... <laughs> <sighs> this is amazing. So like... How does it have six backers? <laughs> why would you want to... Why would you want to pay more for that? Basically, you're paying more for the exact same thing. Why? I mean, I get it if you wanted $50 for the sketchbook specifically. But I don't yeah, understand but... paying $75 for the shout out when you get a shout out for $50. Maybe you really want this network to get off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> but if I wanted to like get this network off the ground, I'd, I'd pledge more than $75. That is such an oddly specific number that I feel like that pledge is just very oddly placed. I feel like he put that pledge there because 50 to 100 may have been too much of a big jump. Mm, yeah, that might be. But even still, you have the option to pay as much as you want. Yeah, but pledges, rewards. Come on, you, would you mm. would you really pledge what you want, or would you get that twenty-five dollar iPhone wallpaper? Come on, you gotta think about that. I could pledge. I could get a a free for fifty dollar plush from a network that doesn't exist. <laughs> cool. Uh, like, why did he? Is that the only occurrence of the nu Nuke network on this whole <laughs> Kickstarter? It is. It is. Wow. Well, I, all right, you, you already talked about the $100 one. It's an original piece, 20 backers, more backers than the $75 one. I wonder why. Wait, what, Butch? If I do donate $100, I get an original piece of art straight from your desk? Yes, kind citizen. See, it's not a sketchbook. It's not sketchbook number one. So this must be number two, I'm assuming. Mm. And then for just $150 more, you get an original Butch Hartman pen plus ink drawing. Plus any of the two lower tier options. No, no, any any two. So I wonder, <laughs> okay, if I pledge $250, all right, do I also get the special YouTube shout out and then also the $50 <laughs> shout out? How does that work? <laughs> I wonder what he'd say to that if I get a double shout out. Yeah, well, leave me like, no, you can't get two shout outs. Well, you, you said I can get two other tiers. I want the shout out and the special I, shout I out. I want to see that video. Just, this video is brought to you by the Alpha <laughs> J Show. It's also brought to you by the Alpha J Show. 
<laughs> like it, it's it's almost worth it just to see if I can get both of them. <laughs> Maybe you'd have to include you in both the intro and the outro of each upcoming That's new video. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> Five hundred dollars or more, custom Butch Hartman pen and ink drawing. Wait, what? Custom. What? 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 Yeah. You see, one's original, one's custom. Wait, so if I pledge $250, you just give me a random ink drawing? Oh no, any one of your favorite Butch Hartman. What? Well, hold on. <laughs> As a thank you for donating so 500 wait, wait a minute! <laughs> so, so, if so, so the $100 one, what's the difference? The $100 is, is only ink? pen and... Uh, like a drawing not with any pen a pencil Okay, so you're essentially just drawing in pen for a hundred and fifty dollars more But would I get an original character though? That is what I'm wondering <laughs> <laughs> Look, I just want the shout out and the shout out <laughs> I want to see if there's one Hold no hold up. We, we need to Read the one thousand dollar pledge. Oh man, that's that's a because that's a that's really generous. That is one big jump, and it already has two pledges. I'm surprised. Two backers already. I also like how it says ships to you anywhere in the world. Now, yes. now you now you might say, well, Jay, doesn't all of them say that? That don't make sense. Not the shout out. Not the seventy five dollar one. It, it doesn't it say doesn't? ships to anywhere in the world because that'd be dumb. Ooh. What are you? Sh are you? Sh wait, but no. Oh, I get it now. For a thousand dollars, I get my own art academy student. Like, he sends me a human being <laughs> that he that was part of the Butch Hartman school of, and then the opposite happens, and they teach me art. They teach me everything about cartoons. <laughs> I get it. They sent off all the ex Nuke Network members that they don't <laughs> have any use for anymore because the network is dead. <laughs> I get shipped a human being. I Butch Hartman have a that you to be enrolled in. I teach you all of the tips, tricks, and how-tos of everything cartoons. <laughs> but how would that work? Will you'll receive the three <laughs> free lessons, and you also get to two others. Two other lower. So, like with this, same question, but like let me switch it up a little bit. Does that mean that I get the original pen and the custom pen? Two shoutouts. I just want to compare these two <laughs> pens. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I want a drawing of Vicky from the Fairly Odd Parents, but then like I also want one from Vicky of the Fairly Odd Parents. So if you had but in ink, but in ink, please, <laughs> that'd be cool, Bush. Thank you. Also, please draw okay. the Nuke Network logo. <laughs> Oh, we need to get like one of those green screen Butch Hartman reactions and just put the new network behind it. <laughs> <laughs> now, if I had the money, this would be the pledge I would do. $5,000 or more. Group video call. With a donation of $5,000, you'll be given access to a one hour group video call with Butch Hartman himself. You can talk animation, comedy, comic books, and all things nerd related with Butch. Plus you get everything in the lower tiers. So at this point, I'm getting a custom and original pen, and then another sketch, some random sketch, two and YouTube two shout outs, shout -outs. <laughs> plus a phone wallpaper and an exclusive email. <laughs> yeah, can't forget about the phone wallpaper. <laughs> $25. I look, I, I'm surprised you didn't include one where you get like get a lock of his hair. <laughs> like something super ridiculous or one of his shirts. And I would get this if I had the money. I would too. This is the only valuable one I've seen so far, if you want me to be completely honest. Like it makes sense that it is so high because of course if it was lower he couldn't do video calls with everything a single one of his fans. Yeah, of course. But the thing is if it were to be a fan that would want to make a video call with Butch Hartman, I would not have the money to pledge $5,000 as a casual Butch Hartman viewer. For one hour? I, I don't see that working at all for him. For one hour, by the way. One hour. 5000 Think about that for a second. I'm gonna put the math on the screen because I don't know if I want to do the math. But you're, you're offering a certain percentage. That, that's a huge percentage of the $250,000 goal. 
yeah. for one hour. Like it, I'm not it, saying you have to put them on your YouTube channel, make a YouTube video with them, but I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of people, if they were to back that much, that means they believe in your project a lot. So to give them one hour... I, I think it's about $2,000, all the other tiers combined. So that's a $3,000 jump between these tiers. And you only get... You're essentially paying Butch Hartman $3,000 an hour. <laughs> you're essentially paying Butch Hartman $3,000 more dollars just to, to bear with you for an hour. Just to call you on Skype. Butch just, Hartman, will you talk to me? <laughs> Three thousand more dollars. Please, please talk to me. I need this. I need the creator of the Nuke Network to talk to me. Ten thousand dollars. You want to read this one? Producer credits. Sure. <sighs> I, I might need a sip of water be before this. <laughs> I need to put myself in the mind space of the family. Okay, so Jay. Do you ever sit back after a movie or TV show and watch the credits roll by? Imagine your name on those credits. As a reward for supporting Oasis with $10,000, you will receive producer credits on an original Oasis production of your choice. Plus, you will receive everything in the lower tiers. No, I don't ever sit back after a movie and watch the credits roll. Nickelodeon themselves put on white tiny letters transparent over the end of the episode. You don't even get to see the end credits by themselves. The end credits is transparent at the bottom at the end of the episode so that it ends so that the end credits end when the end of the episode ends and they get into the they don't even care that much. They're only doing it for the legal purpose. Five thousand dollars for an hour of your time. Ten thousand dollars for an hour of your time. Plus, you putting my name in aerial font at the bottom of, of a show that no one's going to watch. No one's going to watch the end credits for. The $10,000 pledge is far worse, like miles worse than the $5,000 one, which is already pretty bad. The $10,000 one would be something you'd get for normally about $1 to $5 on a normal person's Patreon page. If not even free sometimes if they help you out with the video, which you could easily do. You could just credit people for giving you ideas for the network. You know, like the, the users who essentially you expect them to create free content for you by uploading videos to the site. But no, you let them pay $10,000 just to have their name appear on screen with one of the shows you expect them to watch even though we don't really know what shows those are supposed to be. <sighs> just... I don't get it. I, I, I really I don't. I really don't. I, I don't get it at all. I think the value to uh, cost is completely out of whack here. I feel like I'm not getting as much value when we get to the higher ranges here. You know that there are two other pledges and those make far more sense than this one. But he, he broke these three up into uh, three ones for $10,000. And I'm assuming... Yes, he did. I'm assuming it's because uh, both of the other ones are limited to 10 people. Even still, this one will be an option after the other two are like completely filled up if that were to ever be the case which at this point i'm really doubting because it's been one day since he made that i'm starting a new network video because so he, he had that spike on his channel with 750,000 subscribers at the moment yeah so so most of his viewer base that would be interested in watching this already saw this video and most other people that were just discovering it afterwards wouldn't be willing to pay ten thousand dollars or five thousand dollars even to be in a one hour skype call with butch hartman one hour like that's not a lot <laughs> no no it, no it really isn't you, you could probably get someone in the animation industry maybe not a butch hartman but someone work, having worked on one of these shows not for free but like get them for less than five thousand dollars to even be on a podcast yeah you, we've seen people on youtube like do you know how many storyboard artists are out there that are We've on seen, twitter like ian jones 40 
we've seen uh, even Rebecca Sugar, I think, on podcasts of YouTube. Is, yeah. Like, one hour. He's been on podcasts in the past, too. I, I don't think of YouTubers, but he must know the cost and result or, like, what you get from its relationship here. So, I don't know if he essentially just does it so it has some benefits if you ran out of pledges here but it it doesn't make it doesn't make sense to me i i i don't i don't understand how he expects someone to want to be credited for $10,000 if if that person were to be willing to pay $10,000 wouldn't it be something related to Bochartman, something related to the network, how you can be involved in it and not just have your cr name on screen once. Maybe even a shout out, maybe something like bigger than just appearing on screen for one split second. This makes me so mad. Yeah, right? Like, I I'm not even joking. This is legitimately infuriating. It's really not cost effective. It, it doesn't have the, the value that you, you back it for. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, look, and I'm not trying to blow, I'm not trying to take a shot at his ego or anything, but a call with Butch Hartman is not worth $5,000. No. And I get it, but you're also getting the other stuff as well, but... Let's be honest here, the email can simply be copied and pasted, boom, there goes the value for that. The wallpaper, the phone wallpaper can be copied and pasted, boom, there goes the value for that. I'm essentially getting two pens, one of them custom. I'm, I'm getting a shout out and then a sketchbook if I don't get the shout out. All right, that's not worth $5,000. I understand from his perspective, he needs a lot of money to back up the network, but you know what would be a great pledge? Run a show. Run a what show. It doesn't even have to be ten thousand yeah. dollars. It could be twenty thousand dollars, and then you could put at the end like you did for the other, the other, these other two, which is become an animated character or an acting role. All Access Entertainment has final approval on all creative decisions. You can do that mm -hmm. because I'm pretty yeah. like if if I can run a show and I have the same values that you have, I just don't have the popularity to be able to kick up a a, a project of this scale, or I don't have the credibility, quote unquote, to be able to convince people to back it, then how about I give you $20,000 and then we could, cause the thing is, I'm, I'm sorry, Butch can't do this all himself. And I feel like he needs other, he needs other people who also may be creative, may be brilliant, pledge $20,000, you get a show. And I know he knows other people in the entertainment industry. He does. I don't understand. He could just get other people on board with this, try to, back it with these people on board to have like more people involved in it besides just him and I understand that he wants to be the face of the network again but you'd assume that he learned from the mistakes he has made with the new network why it didn't take off but no no he expects people to pay ten thousand dollars just to have their name appear on screen once like you said before I understand the pledge because the other two are limited so this is like the unlimited $10,000 pledge, but why would I do that? Does does a producer credits matter to me that much? I, fi I find the last pledge to be pretty hilarious, but the, the second to last one is probably the best one on this whole pledge list, even though it's so high, but it's like the coolest of all of them. And if you were to push it down a little bit, I can see that. Yeah, I can, I can see that. <laughs> do you want to see? Uh, yeah. Just go, go ahead and read the last one. You'll become an actual character in a Oaxis live action production. So take those acting lessons and polish your performing skills because you're about to be in front of the camera. Oaxis Entertainment has final approval on all acting role selections. So what you're saying is that I'm paying $10,000 to be something, to be part of something that I'm necessarily not even getting paid for, apparently. Yeah, right? Where's and the royalties? Then, in return, there being the possibility of not even being in it because there's someone behind it saying, no, you can't act, and <laughs> therefore not even in the show. <laughs> you pledged $10,000 for but, it. But, but I pledged $10,000. Oh, oh, well, you know, we could just we could just put your name at the end credits. You know? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it, it technically it's worth the same thing. What, do we have some new network plans? Dude, look, ten thousand dollars. I can buy you a plane ticket. How about you give me one where I can be on your channel? Like one thousand dollars, 
collab on your channel. Or like, if that's too low, $7,500. I'll be on your channel, because that can pay for the plane ticket, you know, or, or $7,500 plus $350 extra dollars. So it, it would cover the plane ticket and you would still have the original $7,500 that you would need for the pledge, you know? Like, there's so many other cool ideas out there, and I feel like he's relying on the fact that people like the cartoons that he made and people may possibly want like an exclusive thing but i'm sorry but exclusivity only matters if you care so much about what is involved like for me i know for a fact that like certain musicians that i like like i love getting vinyl and stuff like that i would love to get vinyl of certain people but like if if random joe on a uh, soundcloud puts out a vinyl Yes, it's exclusive. Does that mean that I value it that much? No. And the same thing goes here. A lot of these pledges, I'm sorry, they aren't as worth as much money as you're paying. And I understand you're not paying for just the pledges, but you're also paying to support a family-friendly network. But uh, something's telling me that families who may be interested in something like this may not have that type of money to pledge. And if the people who generally have money to pledge like this, why not just give them a show? You know, $20,000, $50,000. Give them a show. Give them a season. You know, just look over it, make sure it's family friendly, but give them a season. You never know. Butch a while back made a video where he let uh, his fans draw the Fairly Odd Parents and I think also Danny Phantom characters in different shows, uh, essentially doing the, the um, Channel Chasers episode, but as, a, as an updated version to it and he showcased some of their arts and it was, some of them were just fantastic pieces and I don't understand why if he has such a large fan base, if most of them are artists themselves or at least in the interested in the drawing and animation community, why he doesn't just let them collaborate, work on something grander than this, work on something yeah, that, wouldn't that relates be great? to the content he produces and not try to like appeal to so many different audiences with this weird guarding, gardening videos he promises. <laughs> you are really <laughs> fixated on the Goldman Garden. <laughs> this like, is like the why third time. Why include that? Why include that? This is that the third time you mentioned Goldman Garden. <laughs> of course, because what character, uh, uh, sorry, what, what family would be interested in seeing gardening videos specifically Look, from a right, new network? Right. I can't, I can't speak for everyone else, but I, I went through my, my uh, home and garden show phase, you know, <laughs> I went through my own phase, maybe, maybe some families are into that, but Listen, like... <laughs> Jay, we, we all did at one point in our life, I'm not trying Look, to deny that, but... <laughs> Oaxis, I feel like Oaxis Entertainment is spreading itself really thin for its first phase! Yeah. Unless they're trying to tell me, and this is just a theory, that this is what will happen when it finally reaches its full phase and that we will only be getting a few shows when it comes out and if people actually back money then more shows will come into it and we're not actually going to get a sitcom drama animation home and garden show reality and like not even just a single show you know like because like what if they only have one sitcom one drama series one animation and I understand trying to appeal to all of this because you want to become your own standalone entertainment platform. But the issue there is that a lot of things that are built up from the ground, whether it be something like McDonald's or Nickelodeon or something like that, they niched down and got really good at one thing, then proceeded to expand. Exactly. Viacom, Warner Bros. Yes, they're entertainment conglomerates now, but they didn't start out that And that way. is exactly what I mean by the garden shows aspect, because he appeals to such a specific demographic, even on YouTube, even if he has uh, 750,000 subscribers now. In the grand scheme of things, that's not a whole lot for YouTube standards. There are channels with way over 10 million subscribers now. Those are the big boys. Those are the ones that appeal to many different audiences. Sure, mostly kids, but he is trying to appeal to kids too, so why have these included in your list of aspects if most of your audience wouldn't be interested in watching that in the first place? I'm not saying that there won't be an audience for that on the network, but if you're including that in your list of reasons for why you should back for this channel, 
then it's it's not an, a very effective way to go about it because like you said it's meant to expand upon and to grow and prosper and i'm not getting the feeling that he uh, wants his network to grow but rather have it built up from the start to uh, start off strong to have a go-to network from the start that everyone immediately jumps to and that won't happen no one immediately jumped to youtube when it first started it of was course a not. process that's a great point yeah same with netflix they or like any uh, big company at the moment they all started off small and sure there might be someone saying oh this is a great network you you should try that out. That is totally awesome. Um, I might try it out. I might even try our access out when it's out, when he's able to pledge it. But like as a campaign, sure, dream big. Uh, talk about how the network will look like in its final phases. But don't portray it as if this is all going to immediately happen. Stay realistic. Don't like fill us with false promises because we've seen other projects of him fail in the past and if he is portraying himself as this laid down character that uh, will be the face of this whole company then he should try staying realistic answering some more questions and don't let it seem as corporate as it does here with all these promises other networks have to but putting more emphasis on the community putting more emphasis on it actually being family friendly in the sense that I have a network that I would want to come to and if so why would I want to come to this network specifically well said that's really well said I feel like we can go on for another hour but I feel like that's like the general gist of it yeah poor pledges that don't really reach the cost to value ratio then I feel like it does uh, a strong emphasis on family friendly when there's some problems that go with that. A user upload feature that doesn't necessarily entice me to have a lot of quality when it comes to the quality of the shows. Uh, his own credentials, the fact that this seems so corporate, the way that he handles his YouTube channel, all of these things and, and so much more are reasons why I'm in the same boat. I, I don't really feel like this campaign is worth it. I mean, we have joked about, hey, you know, if we had enough money, you know, maybe you would do the $10,000 pledge. Maybe I would do the $5,000 pledge. But of course, if it does come out, I will support it. But putting my own money behind it at this phase, I don't trust it enough. I don't trust him enough. He's a great animator. He's a great cartoonist. And I really enjoy three of his shows, three of the four, but just because he's a great person in the animation industry doesn't mean that he also knows how to make an entertainment conglomerate. And sure, he, he might prove us wrong in every single aspect of this, but... I hope he does. Yeah, I do too. I, I'm not knocking Butch here in any way, I'm just trying to like reflect on some of the faults first impressions he might have made with this Kickstarter project because if he were to relaunch it if he were to find out that he might not be able to pledge all of this money I'm not sure if people are going to be trusting him again with this if they will be willing to put their trust in him again after what happened to the new nuke network which he might not have specifically said uh, stated that it pretty much didn't uh, go as well as he planned we all know that he doesn't put his focus on it anymore and practically no one talks about it now so yeah I, I really don't want this to happen to our access to well I feel like that's everything I wanted to say is that everything you wanted to say I think so yeah well if you guys don't know who Cosmodor is he he's a very very uh, attractive fellow oh. who also talks about animation. He Jesus. has talked about Spongebob, Kids vs. Cat, Gretsuko, and many, many other stuff. He's growing. He's going to grow faster than me. That's my personal prediction. So you guys should check him out now and support him so that you can say that you've been around since XK amount of subscribers. I'll have his channel in the description below as well as the card and pin comment. Thank you. 
I appreciate the kind words. Anything for you, Cosmo. Uh, ch check out Jay, the channel you're currently already on. So, <laughs> bu buy Nuke Network Plus. That's <laughs> all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I'm gonna start producing my own plushes and sell them for five thousand dollars. That'd be beautiful. I'd get one. <laughs> I'm starting a network just based around plushes. The Cosmodor network. See, now that's something I can get yes. behind. Like I would <laughs> pledge ten thousand dollars just to get be an animated character. A channel based ta around talking about other people's shows, making plushes, and starting a Kickstarter just based around these plushes. Now make sure is... to take your two most popular videos and just make a whole bunch of videos on that. Mm -hmm. Sure. Like the other three and four, you can make once in a while. But the two most popular, just keep doing that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Whatever those two most popular things are. And when you put it in, and when you make your Kickstarter, make sure people know that you are Cosmo. You are the person who made popular video A and popular video B. And you also made C. You know, that's another one. But most recently, D. There is a frequently asked uh, question section on his uh, uh, Kickstarter page. I didn't Ooh. check that one out yet. Ah, uh, what are the questions? Looks like there aren't any frequently asked questions. Many that, yeah, there, there are three <laughs> comments so far. I mean, if I were to make an account, I can think of like ten thousand questions I'd want to ask. <laughs> oh, wow! Only backers can post comments. Yep, that's another thing. And it's like the same backer for the first three comments. Yeah. And he just wants to work on the show. I am first. There's a demand. I am first. There's a demand to work on Oaxis. Yeah, three people. So why not make the perks fall in line with the demand? This is like the simplest thing in the world. You know, I give up. I'm done. I'm done. I, I want to close this video with one aspect we have yet to talk about. Okay. You remember his Why I Left Nickelodeon? video i have remembered you remember this thumbnail he used for that video with the yes i remember it's like it fades out the characters fade out and it's he's on the side it says why i left and all that it has the black and then the orange uh font letters and, yeah, yeah i remember that Nickelodeon. he used the exact same color scheme for the i'm starting a new net yeah because he Keep maybe he mind, wants this video to go most, trending it, it was his most popular video so basically a frame by frame copy of his most popular video in hopes of becoming popular and relevant again <sighs> and that's all i have for today i'm done <laughs> that's it for me i have nothing left to say i'm speechless if you're watching on my channel i'll talk to you guys next time <laughs>